if you don't get in here and pull up a chair, pull up to my kitchen table, we got to talk. Candy Burris Tucker versus Real Housewives of Atlanta. Did Candy get fired off of this upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta? Oh, yes, baby. I got something to say. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I am here. Welcome to Kitchen Table Talk Live with Spiller Boy TV. <sighs> okay. This, this is a rough one, you guys. So this is what's going around now. I'm running through these streets and I'm here. Candy done been fired from down to the Bravo, down to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Candy then got fired. So I said, Lord have mercy, Candy Burris Tucker versus Real Housewives of Atlanta versus Bravo. But before I even get to that, all of the rumblings actually started during the Grammys last night. The Grammys last night is when all the rumblings started, when Candy actually did let out the cat that says, no, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And then the rumbling started. Okay. But before I get to that, before I get to Candy versus Real Housewives of Atlanta, can I get into Candy versus this here gown that she wore down to the red carpet? She worked the red carpet and everything last night. And I definitely say this is a Candy versus this dress. This is one of the strangest things that I've ever seen. You know, when people get dresses for reunions, red carpets, some dresses are better for certain things. I think this is one of the first times I've seen a dress that actually was better for sitting than standing. This dress that Candy has on, I'm not here for any of it. Sorry, Candy. But I just got to be honest, you know, I do the fashion thing too. So it just is what it is. I got to give it while I'm here. None of this worked for me. The dress actually looks better when she's sitting down. And that is really not saying a lot. When she was sitting down in the dress, I said, oh, that's kind of nice. Once she stood up, I can't stand it. I can't stand it because you can see the undergarments underneath it. The, the dress itself it's not an ugly dress. It's not a bad dress at all. It's just not necessary for Candy. Candy's body is amazing. This dress covers it up. Here's the thing. Beaded fringe is one of the oldest tricks in the book to hide things. Though it's glamorous and it's eye-catching, beaded fringe hides flaws. Candy doesn't have any flaws. She has nothing that she needs to hide. The fact that the dress is sheer and you can see her underpants tells you that she knows she has nothing that she really needs to hide. So when she's sitting down, you can't actually see the undergarment stuff in there. So I don't know, but once she stood up, I'm just, I'm really not here for it. I don't like the makeup. I didn't like the hair. None of this. This really looks like it was rushed and put together, okay? So that's the first part of this. I, I just had to get that out. And I'll say to you, sorry, Candy. Not really all that sorry, but I'm just over it. I, I just, this, this, this look is literally beneath you, sis. You got the whole package. Your body is banging. You don't need anything to hide behind. Now, here we go. See, that's better. That's what I'm talking about. Candy, candy, candy. That's what I'm talking about right here. So I'm just going to pull that up because I don't even want to talk while I'm looking at that other mess. This right here, better makeup, better hair. Look at the dress and the body and things. Candy, that's what I'm talking about. See, 
when you can do this, when you can do this, you have no reason to do this. So don't ever do that again. Now, let's move on in with my caddy self. Let me move on in to Candy versus Real Housewives of Atlanta. And what are my thoughts on, did Candy actually get fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta? Or did Candy walk away from Real Housewives of Atlanta? You know I've been walking around these streets trying to gather my bearings before I come and start talking about these things. And um, do I feel as though Candy got fired or did she walk away? Did they fire her from Real Housewives of Atlanta after a, what, 14-year run? Did they fire her? She's been there since 2009, since the second season. The footage says it's a lie, bitch. <laughs> Candy ain't got fired from no Real Housewives, okay? Like I said, let me come on the screen with you all. My goodness, again. Welcome to Kitchen Table Talk Live with Spill It Boy TV. I am Spill It Boy TV. Listen, if you're new here, you see already I, I clowns and I says whatever it is I want. If I already know you, welcome back. Listen, pull up to the kitchen table and let's talk about this. There is no way. And I knew it when I heard, I'm like, why would Candy be fired? Now, I understand that the show we were been hearing rumblings that the show was going to be going in a new direction and all of these things and that they were talking about doing away with people. I get all that. I get all that. But just from being here, and I've been here from the beginning, I've been reviewing the show and watching the show and ain't missed the episode since the beginning back in 2009. And I... You know, I, there's some times when Bravo Andy and Bravo have made some moves that were a little questionable, but fire and candy. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. And then I got all I needed. There was a recording that is floating around where Andy Cohen is actually speaking about a conversation that he had with Candy after the announcement was made. So it was actually sometime today. Um about the run that they've had. And after listening to Andy talk about Candy and the time that they've spent together, you know, I don't see things from, you know, behind the scenes, but I know what I see in front of the scene. And I've always felt as though Andy, when it comes to Andy and Candy, the Candy is one of Andy's picks. I've always felt that. And why wouldn't she be? Why wouldn't she be? Candy Burris is what housewives, what they always wished housewives would be. Bear it all. Bear it all. Basically, live. Live for us while we watch you. And this is what she's done. You know, I've heard the rumblings with people, you know, I've gone season to season to season. Candy ain't bringing nothing to the show. Candy ain't this, candy ain't that. Are you kidding? Are you kidding about what candy has brought to the show? How many men has candy lost on the show? Candy has had a full life with a lot of things. And I'm not talking about, you know, her. See, she came in as a celebrity. Boom. That's, that's a dream to the network. She brought something in. OK, she brought a whole following with her into Bravo that had nothing to do with Bravo. She has star power of plenty coming in the door. That's a dream. So they always felt like they could make money off of candy. And they have because they got eyes off of candy that they didn't have. We watch candy have two tumultuous relationships looking for love and trying to get married and all of these things where her mother did not approve of the mate 
that's reality TV gold. And then you brought Mama Joyce, and Mama Joyce is the life of the party. And her sisters are the life of the party. Reality TV gold. I could stop there. I could stop there. No fake boyfriend stuff like that. Remember, AJ? When Candy came on, she had a boyfriend, AJ, that Mama Joyce didn't approve of. And they were trying to get married. They were in love and were going to get married. She was getting ready to become a quintessential uh, stepmommy to a guy who had a bunch of baby's mamas. Ghetto fabulous. And it was only fabulous because she got money. It was dysfunctional like a reality TV gold. And then something switched, which was something that you could never script, nor could you ever even think they would actually get the coverage of. AJ was murdered. Real life rushed into Real Housewives of Atlanta almost immediately once Candy came in. She literally went through the murder of her fiance. And then we went on and she ended up meeting Todd. And then she married Todd. And then her wedding was done on the show. And then she she she's had two babies. Two babies. One natural, one with a surrogate. How can you sit and say she never brought anything to the show? Now, maybe you've gotten bored with her. Maybe you've gotten tired of seeing her. Maybe you don't want to chronicle her life anymore. You personally. But don't ever sit and say she never brought anything to the show. There are very few people. Very few. If any. That could literally stand up next to Candy and list what they brought to their show and still be standing when Candy sit down. She's opened <clears throat> new businesses. She's made a success of businesses. She's fell down in businesses all on screen. We've watched it. We watched it. We've watched it. The banters that she's had back and forth. The fallouts that she's had back and forth, that Phaedra stuff and Candy, that Portia stuff and Candy. Really? So when I listen to Andy talk about Candy, I got it. And it was what I always thought it was. There is a respect there. He likes her. He likes her. And does he like her as a person? I think he does. But did it always start that way? No. Cash cow. He respects what she brings to the table. Businesswoman. He respects her as a businesswoman. And he kept, he said something right out of his own mouth in that record. He says she's a partner. Because she had things that she had in mind about marketing and different things like that. And he said, you know, she would pick, no, have no problem picking up a phone and saying she thinks that they should market this, that thing, and the other on the show like this. And did they always listen to her? No. But he said himself, most of the time she was right. How many, how many spinoffs has Candy done? How many spinoffs? Some successful, some not. But she has that many in the bucket that you could pick. Oh, that one was good. Oh, that one not so much. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, remember that vacation? Bravo respects Candy. Bravo and Candy have a working relationship. She's leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. Don't you think she's leaving? Bravo. There's stuff going around in the background. Did you know that Peacock bought Todd's movie? Bought it. So the working relationship has not ended. 
her time on this show has ended. And I have no problem believing that she walked away. Actually, she's smart. You're not supposed to leave. And then she's on social media. She's like not just, she don't have nobody. Dawn Wong runs a lot of her stuff, but she's on there. She's watching. She sees what we see. She sees what we see. She sees the comment section. She hears the things that we say. She knows there's people that's getting tired. She knows there's people that say, oh, I'm getting bored with her and that kind of thing. This is one of them Oprah moves. Remember how Oprah just rolled on out of her show when she rolled out? You roll out while people still want more. You don't roll out when people are just dead dog down tired of seeing your ass. You roll out while you're still somewhat hot. And this, she's somewhat hot. Like I said, some of y'all, yeah, y'all tired of candy. Some of y'all, but some of us ain't. Some of us tune in to see her. Period. Period. She's doing this perfectly like she's supposed to. The show is going in a new direction. And it was a perfect time to, to cut out. Because the truth of the matter is, how much more can she do? I just I just called out some stuff. The stuff with with uh Phaedra, the stuff with Portia, why would she want to go through that with some new people? See, in the last few years, it's been a thing where you just put a, there's been an X on her back because she's the one that's been here the longest. She the OG, pick a fight with Candy. You want to get, you coming into the show? Oh yeah, look how Marlo did. Pick a fight with Candy. Don't you think that gets old? Don't you think that gets old? I, I definitely understand it. I am so secure and so serious when I say I ain't arguing with no new bitch about no old shit. So I feel where Candy's coming, coming from. Why would I want to have a new castmate come in and be trying to drag me about something that happened in the past 14 seasons when you were sitting at home on the couch watching me? It's happening to Quad right now on Married to Medicine. Sweet T came into Married to Medicine and got a problem with Quad. Sweet T watched Quad on Married to Medicine. Sweet T watched Quad divorce her husband on Married to Medicine. Sweet T jumped in Quad's husband's DMs. And worked her magic, and now she marrying Quad's husband. Why would Quad want to be on the show arguing with Sweet Tea? Excuse me? Pardon me, bitch. I walk so you could run. Now let me get out of your way so you can go on a stumble on your own. You're not going to stumble all up on the back of my damn Louboutins, honey. So I get it. I definitely get it. This is the perfect time for Candy to exit stage left because. Do you really think she wants to sit here? She got so much going on. She's on Broadway now. She's acting and she's on, she's in movies now. She's doing television shows. She got recurring roles. She literally has things going on. And you see it in the show where you're watching Candy's coming to things late and leaving early because she has places to be because she is literally booked and busy. She already got money, so she ain't hurt for the money. And I mean, it's a nice chunk of change now. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice chunk of change that she makes from Bravo. But really, is it worth it? I mean, to for what? You you pop in, you pop out, they start fights with you, and then you don't care nothing about the people. You think she's really making new friendships? When, when do Candy have time to make new friendships? with people to the point that you would be in an ensemble cast on a show. None of that even makes any sense. It's time to go. But from what I was listening to Andy and hearing Andy, y'all could cut it. Y'all could literally cut it with the she got fired stuff. Y'all could cut that. That girl ain't got fired. That girl made the choice to walk away. And here's the thing. When I was watching her on the red carpet, Candy, um, I get it. I definitely get it that she don't hide her feelings well, okay? Something seemed off to me anyway. It seemed like something was bothering her. 
because to be breaking away, I'm sure it is sad. It's a sad moment. You've been doing something for so long, even though some of it get on your nerves. You know, it's always a, an emotional roller coaster to be leaving something that you're used to. And even especially when there's a check involved. But it seemed like there was something on her that she wanted to get up on. Because I don't think that she actually planned to spill that tea yesterday. But something was off with her other than that look. She just didn't seem herself last night. And then she spilled the tea. But I don't think that that was her plan to spill it then. But, you know, this is, this is no better time than what the hell. Let's create a media buzz. Again, she knows how this works. She knows how it works. She knows what's been being said and different things like that. And now here we are. The media buzz has started. And whatever it is that she's doing, now she can throw that at us and we can go ahead and support whatever that is that she get ready to do next. But something seemed off and it seemed like she had something on her that she wanted to get off. She got it off. And then... The, the media ran and they do what they do, but y'all can stop that line. She ain't got fired. And Andy spoke straight to it. He talked about all kind of stuff that she brought to the table. All the things he liked. She said, he, she brought us Bolo. I said, uh -huh, I know you like that, don't you, Andy? You ain't slick. Sit on down, Andy. Anyway, so that's it. That that's what I, I ran into down here on the streets. Candy versus Real Housewives of Atlanta. There really is no versus. It's just business. It's just business, you guys. Trust me, Candy ain't leaving Bravo. Bravo ain't leaving Candy. They got a working relationship. You ain't seen nor heard the last of Miss Candy Barras Tucker and Bravo. Trust me, you have not. And Andy said, last thing he said, he said, you know what, Candy? You could dip back in in a year or two. He meant that with his whole fiber. Believe it. Anyway, you guys, y'all keep out looking for Candy. We ain't all tired of Candy. I'll be watching to see what you got going on next. Says, do you. Bravo, bravo, bravo. It's all right. And it is time to go. The show done ran its course as pertains to candy it's time for her to go leave while you're hot and in my opinion she hot all right you guys i will see you all next time thanks for hanging out at my kitchen table i appreciate it i'll catch y'all on the flip side later and, and, and feel like